How's it going boys? TKC here and welcome back to another live reaction review for you guys. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over two tracks from two of my favorite artists this week. For the first track I'm going to go over this week, it is going to be Man Cub and Lucas Marks with In The Air. Man Cub was easily one of my favorite artists in 2020 with his breakthrough album Impressions, which I deemed my top album of 2020. Along with Impressions, Man Cub also holds my favorite song of 2021 so far with Maggie York in Real Me. I'm very curious to see over Overall, if In The Air can top Real Me for me, however, with how great that single is, it is going to be a tough task. For the second and final track I'm going to review this week, it is going to be Get Away with Last Heroes. Once again, Last Heroes were easily one of my favorite artists of 2020, with their breakthrough Finding Light EP off Ophelia Records. This is their first single release since Finding Light, and I'm very excited to see what style they head in post Finding Light. If you if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let me know any thoughts you guys have about the song or video in the comments section down below. I also have a Twitter and Instagram account, and I would really appreciate if you gave it a follow. In the meantime though, let's get into the live reaction. As I'm sitting here editing this, I realize that there's one really important topic that I failed to address, and that's the fact that around this time of the year, my hearing starts to get just a little bit plugged up due to some seasonal allergies, and ultimately I might miss a fine detail here or there, so don't be too hard on me. Uh, I try to turn up the volume to account for this, but at the end of the day I just don't really want tinnitus because you should take care of your fucking ears, don't get hearing loss, wear earplugs at shows, and yeah, just don't be stupid. So I don't know where I'm going with that, but yeah, enjoy the live reaction. <laughs> Very soaring euphoric feel so far. Man. Alright, here we go. First drop. Oh! Nice fills. Nice, dude. Oh. Wow. Solid start. Really great sound choices in the drop. And the verse production here is so solid. I don't know too much about producer knowledge, but that repeating sound that Man Cub always uses in his verses is just one of the greatest sounds I've honestly heard. Nice acoustic guitar. Yep. Alright, let's see if we'll get a difference in the second drop. Oh, dude! That is clean, man. That arpeggio, man! Ooh. Wow. Okay, so Man Cup kind of dove into a melodic dubstep direction here, and it's honestly kind of different for his style as he normally goes into that melodic bass sort of future bass vibe, so very different for him. One thing I kind of want to point out, I'm not too crazy about the selection of Lucas Marx's vocals. However, the verse production is very full, with the usual man cub synths that play through. The buildups just create a ton of energy and just have this really full sound that I totally dig. And then when it comes to the drops, the drops just have this really clean, full sound design that you can always expect from man cub, with some amazing fills and some cool arpeggios to add some flavor to the drop. Man cub always also knows how to spice things up, with a couple cool filters in there as well and overall just makes for a very solid enjoyable track from him. I'm not feeling it as much as Real Me but I think that speaks more to the quality of Real Me as a track. Man Cub is just one of those artists that I can always expect to deliver no matter what subgenre he produces and him diving into melodic dubstep here away from his usual melodic bass and future bass just shows how versatile he can really be. A likely fit on my top 10 songs of March 2021 and a very solid start. Next up, we've got Last Hero's Getaway. 
Very dreamy so far. Last Heroes absolutely nailed this sound, man. Love that percussion. This is a vibe so far, man. Holy. Mm. Where is this gonna go, man? Where is this gonna go? Nice percussion. You can kind of hear the drop coming in in the background. Okay. Classic Last Heroes drop outro. Hmm. I think that's really solid, but from Last Heroes, I kind of expect a little bit more, I don't lie, but we'll see how the second drop sounds. Alright, second drop, let's see what we got here. Yep. Alright. Alright, so that was a pretty solid track here from Last Heroes, and I'm gonna kinda go over a couple things I thought about it. When it comes to the verses, Lunas' vocals add this really nice soaring aspect to the track that makes it feel very euphoric. There are a lot of underlying elements that I feel will go under the radar for the average listener, such as some really great guitars and some pads that add to that euphoric feeling. In addition to Lunas' really great vocals in the chorus, you've also got the percussion that kicks in and overall makes for some really great buildups that has the listener just anticipating the drop. And while the drop is pretty good and had me moving, I can't help but feel Last Heroes could do a little bit more to spice up the drop a little bit. Last Heroes do have some of the fullest sound design and this can make me forget some of those aspects. However, I would just like to see maybe an arpeggio or some backing elements that keep the drop fresh overall. Sound design tends to always win me over after a couple listens, however just on first impressions, Getaway doesn't exactly wow or blow me away, but is a really good track and I can see myself returning to it. And that should be it from me guys. As always, let me know what you think about the song or the video in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.